Can I ask you a few questions? Absolutely. Are you Mr. Yost? Yes, I am. Oh, great. I'm um, Dan. I'm Dan. Yost. Okay, That's great. Okay. I'm, I'm also a screenwriter. I run, oh. a, uh, I run a screenwriter's group called the Writer's Building. So, and I, I taught screenwriting and been a reader and oh, all that. Fantastic. So you're so you're kind of a hero of mine. So what, okay, so what is it like transitioning from writing feature films to TV? You know, I look right into the lens. Sure, yeah. Or look at you. Or me. Um, you Either know, the, the, the big difference is in television, uh, the writer gets to call the shots. And that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, until the thing doesn't work and then you want to blame someone else. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's really the freedom. I, I think that given that, you know, unless you're doing an independent movie, all the features these days are big hundred, two million, hundred, two hundred million dollar movies. And it's hard to do an interesting little story. In television, you've got a shot every week at doing an interesting little story. You can really get into character. And so, and you can arc something out over weeks and weeks of the show rather than having to wrap up everything in two hours. So I think of movies kind of as, it's kind of like short stories. And a television series, you've got a shot at doing a novel. So I really enjoy it. Um, I, speaking of kind of the industry changing and budgets, a film like Broken Arrow at the time was kind of like a medium budget action right. movie, right? Are those being made now? Do you do you see you know, the industry some changing? Some of those are. I mean, you know, there are those medium budget action movies, and and so people take a look at something like Taken, which I believe cost about what thirty million or something, which would, you know, when we did Speed, that was about thirty five million, but that was back in nineteen ninety three. Yeah. So let's say that'd be about seventy million today. That's a little more than they'd want to spend for a movie like that. But something like Taken comes along, does huge business, and then they start to think, well, maybe there is something for medium budget action. Um, you got to be smart, you know, because you're not going to deliver on the big. You can't deliver on size and scope. You got to deliver on intensity, and that's what I think a film like Taken does. Um, but you know, it's hit and miss. From Paris with Love, not so big, you know. So, are you still? Um are you still working as a script doctor? Are you working in You know, I really haven't. Just because I've just been doing uh, television for the past bunch of years. I went from doing a show on NBC called Reigns right into the Pacific and now into Justified. Oh, great. Okay. So, so, you worked on, so you worked on the Pacific? Yeah, I worked on it. That must have been an epic that was an undertaking, epic right? How long were you, were you off shooting that? Um, you know, I, w I worked on it for pretty much two straight years, and uh, it was a year of writing with, well, Bruce McKenna and, and Shankin and Pelicanos and Michelle Asher. They'd done a lot of the writing to begin with. I came in to do some polish work and then went to Australia and were there for a year. I was there for maybe about half of that, and I directed an episode, um, great, okay. and it was just a blast. Great, great. Well, good luck we, with we it. We got one of, the car one of the guys who was in Pacific, Jacob Pitts, I, I cast in Justified. So. Great, great. Okay. All right, great. Thanks a lot. Nice to meet you, Graham. Nice Thank you very much.